on the live stream lounge here at BevNet Live 20, Summer 2016. I'm Ray Latif, the managing editor of BevNet. I'm joined by Blake Mitchell, the vibe controller at Interact. Actually, the president, but he asked me to say vibe controller. Thank you. Thank you for the intro. <laughs> How are you, Blake? Good. Good to see you. Uh, great turnout. Yeah. It's, um, I continue to feel and uh, feel the younger energy coming to the events. And yeah, it's palpable, isn't it? Change the guards. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, Interact is a branding and design firm based in Boulder, Colorado. You guys have uh, been involved with a lot of uh, interesting brands uh, across the food and beverage spectrum. Fred Hart, your creative director, talked a lot about that at our beverage school session. Um, He's the creative guy. You're the trends guy. Um, you know, in, in terms of natural beverages, for, uh, let's start there, um, or at least in the natural beverage category. You know, what are some of the the really emerging trends that that you guys are identifying? Well, I mean, let's just let's take a step back. I want to talk a little bit about Interact. Um, sure. So we're a strategic branding and packaging agency based in Boulder. We work exclusively with food and beverage brands, um, and we really pride ourselves on on staying. Uh, up to what's happening in the world to help our clients be successful um, and true and authentic to what is happening. And so we do this by traveling the world, um, fortunate to travel around over 100,000 miles a year. I occasionally get some people from the office to travel with me. It's hard um, considering how much, how much stuff is going on at the office. Uh, but like Fred and I went in May, uh, Fred Hart, our creative director, and I went in May to Mexico City and we just, for 24 hours, we walked 32 miles around the city and just met with different food and beverage brands and walked to different markets. And um, so it was just, again, seeing these, this thing that we've been seeing happening, which is just everything getting cleaner, everyone eating healthier. And of course, healthy means different things in different parts of the country, different parts of the world. Um, but you know, seeing like cold pressed juice, which isn't anything new to us in the states, but it was really cool to see like there was three cold pressed juice brands in Mexico City, which you just, I just I didn't think that would be happening there. Yeah. Um, and uh, <clears throat> if you don't mind me pimping our podcast, we had Fred Hart on. Uh, we recorded a podcast with him uh, on Monday and talked extensively about the uh, the Mexico City trip. So we want to hear a lot more about that, or yep. at least his perspective. Yep. You can listen to our his podcast. <laughs> it's going to come out pretty soon. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And then like you know tonight. Flying to uh, flying to London to meet with a, a bunch of emerging food brands, um, and so again, just kind of giving a, having a global perspective of what's going on in the world. So aside from jet setting, uh, you know, and being here at BevNet Live, you know, what do you think of you know some of the things that we saw at the New River Showdown today, for example, and yesterday? You know, we saw uh, a bunch of shots. We saw a lot of kids drinks you yep. know are these things are, are are these is this the white space or the, you know are, are they playing in categories that are sort of open is it the wild west for some of these uh, these companies and they're I, taking advantage of the opportunities yeah i mean i think that uh, you know the shot the shot category i think we're going to continue to see grow we have two you know for a long time it was shelf stable shots i i don't necessarily know where that category is today but uh, seeing these cold press shots i think we're going to continue to see more and more of those because um, they've been around for a few years now, but just in their regional kind of juice shops, like a juice press, and they were just cold press versus HPP. So continue to see that. Um, I took a break earlier and went over to a place called Indie Fresh, about a block away, which is another juice shop as well, where I came across four four ounce smoothies, protein smoothies, and those are like, and they were only just blended there. They weren't HPP, but it still just made me think: Are we going to continue to see like? Is it like going to be a liquid bar almost? Um, kind of just a little energy boost. Yeah. So you guys identify the trends. You can see them. It's, you know, it's, it's not always clear, but you, know, you guys are professional, so you know how to do it. So, but how do you, how do you, uh, you know, integrate them into branding strategies for, yeah. your, for your clients? Um, well, you know, one, just touching on you know, identifying, it's like one, I, I liken it to like just looking at these different little uh, dots all across the world. Um, and even if, you know, walking, I try and walk as much uh, around Manhattan when I'm in town or Brooklyn, walking in just random little stores that, uh, that do, you know, spark our interest. Um, and so in incorporating what we see in the world is just, you know, push, helping our clients, again, stay true to what's happening in the world versus a client coming to us and saying, hey, we're going to launch a, a blue raspberry kids drink. Um, and, you know, that, that's not relevant. So um, 
you know, it's just, again, helping our clients stay true to what's going on. And uh, from a pack size, you know, how brands are positioning themselves, how brands are communicating um, and different personalities. It allows for us to be like, oh, well, we've seen that, you know, here before and maybe in a different space. Um, Because we also, we find inspiration in, you know, art museums, design festivals, music festivals, all different types of places. And it's like, you know, this summer, I think I'm going to like three music festivals and you go to those now and it's like you, you have all these different pop-ups, all these juice brands, juice brands are like three jerks jerky and different people, uh, you know, they have pop-ups f- for the weekend. Yeah, it was actually really interesting. <laughs> I uh, had an opportunity to go to the uh, Austin City Limits Festival last year. And Amazing Daily food. Greens was there. You know, I mean, like, when was the last time you saw, a, did you ever think you were going to see a cold-pressed juice yep. brand, you know, behind the scenes at that, at that kind of an event? Um, one question I wanted to ask you w- was, you know, a lot of the brands, a lot of these early stage brands, uh, aren't they just don't have the resources to go very far? So, you know, their limited their geographic footprint is pretty limited. Um, do you incorporate where they are into into branding plans, or is that not necessarily an important uh, aspect of it? Um, I mean, I, we we ask people early on. It's like, are you looking to if something's super niche or super small or niche specifically? I mean, we're asking. Are you looking to build an expensive hobby, or are you looking to build a brand? Um, I mean, we have people that we we built you know, just things that are more of expensive hobbies, um, but we we really uh, pride ourselves on working with more entrepreneurial brands. Um, like we just uh, launched a brand that's actually pitching here today called Vive Organic, and um, we've been working very closely with Wyatt. Um, as a result our, of our deep relationships within the industry, we're able to help him get into his first retailer. Um, so, in, so where is Vive based? I, I think I missed it. Yeah, so Vive's based in, uh, in LA. Uh, they're in about eight retailers. And um, we're just slowly launching. Uh, we have 40 retailers that are waiting, uh, waiting for us. But we're, we're actually validating the concept right now because they're about to do a raise. So we're just point store um, velocities. So when you were helping them build their brand strategy, you know, how important was the LA market? to that or was it really was it really a thought about where they're based oh it was all about that yeah um, we you know the the sale these guys went from like concept to launch in they went from concept to launch in like four months and uh, so it was all you know looking at with the market where where could we actually uh, find the most consumers who, who had been uh, exposed to shots um, and so you look at a a, a place like like Los Angeles, which is has a lot of early adapters, um, and so it's so far it's been a, a winning strategy. And I think it was maybe uh, Rohan or uh, Brett yesterday from Kavu spoke about validating something regionally before trying to go much larger. So when it comes to like branding and strategy, like you know what we do is we're we're a branding and packaging agency, but we're so deep in the food and the beverage world that. We see things that work and that don't work at this point. So, I, you know, our belief at Interact is anyone can design something. Uh, it's pretty easy with the, the Macintosh and the software that's available. It's really more about the partnerships that we build with our clients and we, how we help them. We push each other back and forth and we, and we help them be successful way beyond just a pretty picture. Now, you know, you're in a, you, you guys run a pretty experienced firm. You have some pretty experienced people working there. Um, you're coming to BevNet Live and you're seeing a lot of different things. What are you getting out of this conference? What am I? I mean, you know, at th- this point, like I'm uh, going to, I think, 14 uh, food and beverage events this year. So it's, it's mostly just being able to catch up, on, catch up with people like yourself. And, you know, how's everything going? You know, what things are you seeing? That really helps um, keep our lenses sharp. And is there anything that you're able to take away in terms of seeing something here that, you know, you'll say, hey, that was kind of a good idea. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to incorporate that into another branding strategy. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's everything. It's not one thing. Uh, I think you guys put on uh, a truly, you know, world-class event with, with wonderful people that have ex- that have a ton of experience and have, have built a lot of uh, some of the most successful brands in the, in the beverage space. So being able to hear from them during their talks um, is, is really phenomenal, just learning from there. Great stuff. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the kind words. Really appreciate it, Blake. Thank you.